Hello, my lovelies. So today, I just wanted to talk to you guys about the company Marina Collections. Um, there's a lot of talk um, about the company, um, and there's a lot of talk about if they're a scam or not. Um, I was contacted by them on Monday. Um, I rebooted my Instagram page on Monday after I started making my YouTube videos again, actually, just so I could cover my bases with social media. Um, I also started a Tumblr page, if you guys did not know that. I will have the links down below. Um, and from that, I didn't really know much about the company, so... Um, I was contacted them through the Marina Collections Ambassadors uh, asking me if I wanted to be an ambassador. And um, right away, I was uh, thrilled. Um, you know, someone who just started out on social media again, just started out on YouTube again, um, I, <laughs> I was super excited. Um, so I jumped at the opportunity. I... Um, uh, was made the offer to purchase one of their famous necklaces, and so I did, along with uh, two pairs of sunglasses, which are really cute, um, a pair, uh, a, a choker necklace, as well as two pairs of earrings, one uh, ear cuff, and one pair of um, regular earrings that are kind of like... Um, uh, a pearl, uh, that style that has like a pearl, um, but a bigger like bulb on the back that's really popular right now. Um, and so I went about that. Um, they were really nice about contacting me about becoming an ambassador, gave me a discount, uh, $90 off of their famous neck necklace line. Um, that kind of thing. I was really thrilled about all of it. Um, and then, when I did a little bit more research after making my purchase, I found out that there's a lot of controversy over if this company is a scam or not. The whole thing about this company and why it takes so long. Um, oh, also, they say uh, their shipping is expensive. Um, and it goes by weight because they say that their product is handmade. They also um, say that their product is in the New York Fashion Week, um, and they uh, have a, uh, features in magazines. And as an ambassador, you can be featured um, on their blog, and you can also be um, you wearing their necklaces and uh, jewelry or swimsuits or um, other things can be featured on their website. So um, me thinking that, uh, I thought, great, <laughs> publicity for my social media. You know, just me starting out again, uh, I thought this was a great opportunity. Now, looking back, I don't know if this is going to be great. Um, I told them up front that I planned on reviewing all of their products on my YouTube. And I plan on reviewing all of their products on my Tumblr as well. And they seem thrilled with that idea. Um, come to find out yesterday, um, I'm doing my research, and there is one particular Instagram page that is saying Marina Collection Scam. Um, it looks like it has been taken down now. Um, and it is just saying things uh, along the lines that their jewelry is being shipped from China and that that is why the shipping is so much and that their things are not handmade. Uh, things along those lines, that the jewelry is breaking, um, stuff like that. Um, and then when I went on to YouTube to see what people's reactions are, people that have actually purchased the items, um, what I have found is that everyone is quite happy with the quality of the items, whether it is a scam or not. Um, people were reviewing it, 
And when they were putting on the jewelry themselves, <laughs> several of, the, of them said that regardless of it being a scam or not, um, they would repurchase products. Um, and uh, one woman, I'm not sure of her name, uh, I may link her video below if I can find it again. Um, she said that she looked into it and Marina Collections is actually prosecuting several, several people um, because they are losing um, quite a bit of business because of people saying that their company is not um, what it is. Uh, and regardless if it is or isn't, um, I still made my purchase. And with that, I will still be doing a review on YouTube of all of this product, um, of the products that I bought. Um, with that said, um, you know, for me, this may be a learning, learning experience. This may be a slap in the face, unfortunately. Um, uh, but I have already been informed that my earrings and the choker have been shipped to me. Um, and I only paid for standard shipping, which was still quite expensive. The standard shipping was um, $12.50. The next level up from that was $25. And the next level up, uh, which um, standard shipping was four weeks um, for the handmade item. Uh, the necklace. The next level up from that was $25, and that was uh, 10 to 12 business days, I believe. And then the next level up from that was $44 for shipping, and that's 4 to 10 business days or 4 to 8 business days, something like that. Um, and shipping is quite expensive from them. Um, but it does go by weight. And all the reviews I have found on YouTube have uh, said that the jewelry is quite heavy. Um, so, I mean, I guess it does make sense. Um, but packaging um, also is just a lot of bubble wrap. Um, so I'm not sure uh, why, you know, it's so expensive. It's not coming in boxes, I found. That kind of thing. Um, I also was talking with um, some of my colleagues in my theater company that I work for. I actually just came from uh, an improv show. I uh, work for a professional company called Pick Apart Theater um, in South Bend. I'm from South Bend, Indiana. And um, I uh, was talking with them, and one of my friends... Uh, works in a pawn shop. And so he was looking on the Better Bureau business website and he looked up the company and they actually have an F, an F on the Better Bureau business um, website. So that was quite startling to me. And so, uh, and then he also said um, that from what it looks like to him is that this jewelry is just fancy costume jewelry, which is what I, I expected. I didn't think it was, you know, fancy jewels or um, diamonds of any kind. I thought it was just, you know, fancy costume jewelry, just handmade fancy costume jewelry. Um, I didn't have any high expectations from that. I was just thrilled um, that someone wasn't... Um, necessarily sponsoring me, but had the faith in me and wanted me to sponsor their product, I suppose. Um, and I actually have a coupon code for my followers as well um, to get 20% off of purchases from their site, which I will link below um, if you would like to check them out. So I guess from here, it's up to you guys if you'd like to believe it or not. If you would like to uh, try their product um, or, or not, I will probably be opening the packages as they come and reviewing it as they come. Um, so first, it looks like the earrings and the choker will be coming. I uh, ordered the two pairs of earrings and the velvet choker. 
And um, then the sunglasses are probably coming next. And finally, the necklace that I am an ambassador for. Um, so we will find out if the quality of the product is worth it or not. And if I will be endorsing this product or not. Once the product comes, I will give you guys my full and honest opinion. I will also be making uh, a Tumblr post about this as well. I was quite thrilled when they um, contacted me. And now that I have found out this information, I have <laughs> mixed, mixed feelings on it. Um, but I just wanted to inform you guys so that you could uh, have, you know, your own educated opinions on it um, and could make, you know, your own choices as far as what you wanted to do. Uh, you know, um, but yeah, uh, if you hadn't noticed, I have like the cutest Tsum Tsum shirt on. It says BFF S, best friends forever. I love Tsum Tsums and Hello Kitty is joining us today. Ooh, 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 ooh. The lighting is a little better today. I still have NARS, um, orgasm on and I'm actually using the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. I have Royal Flush on my lid. You can't really see because it's such a glare from that light. And then I have Duchess on the outer half. And then I have Reflection on my crease. Um, just because I had my improv show and I didn't want to do anything um, too, too crazy. Um, and then I have, uh, I'm using Chronosphere as my liner. I like to use um, eyeshadow as liner a lot. My lids don't get too oily. My problem a lot of the time is that um, I get watery in the outer corners. That's more my problem. So, and then my hair is just still in a problem. Candle today. I'm actually burning um, water. I'm burning uh, watermelon lemonade from Bath and Body Works. It smells so good. I love their three wick candles. But that's all really for me today. I just wanted to update you guys and talk to you a little bit about that and really just make another video. And that's really just what's been on my mind. So I hope this video educated you and I will hopefully be getting a package soon and let you guys know how it goes. So yeah. Oh, and my kawaii box has been shipped, so that video will be coming out shortly. So excited. I cannot wait. Mm. Mm. So, well, that's it for me. Bye, my lovelies.